is Mildred, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun October plan with me video featuring a pop-up mechanic that I was inspired by a fellow bullet journal YouTuber. Don't forget to stay till the end of this video to find out more about the details of a little giveaway I'll be hosting. But without further ado, let's get to bullet journaling. I want to do a mention of a tea subscription company called Sipsby where I get 4 types of tea for $16 a month. Here I have my September collection and if you guys are interested in joining the tea club I have a $5 off coupon for your first order. Here are the following teas that I got. Organic Pomegranate Green Superfruit Tea by Republic of Tea, Tulsi Peppermint by Organic India, Repose by Steep Echo, and Cream Earl Grey by Eerie Cup. Out of all of the teas, I wanted to try out the Cream Earl Grey by Ear Cup. It has these beautiful blue amalo flowers, which has vanilla overtones that stand out and smells really great before brewing. And impo most importantly, it tastes really good right in the cup and super balanced. Now drink up and let's start bullet journaling. So like I said in the beginning, this month's theme is inspired by a fellow bullet journal YouTuber. Juni, here are her links to her social media, YouTube, and Instagram. So I did follow her YouTube tutorial and really mimicked that coffee cup look. And I also created my own wonky stickers to incorporate that Brewster logo for the cup. And I did mean wonky because I did do all of these freehand and right now I'm just kind of trying to compose on where to put it onto the coffee cup. I also had some craft paper stickers on hand just so that it can complement the Brewster logo. I also created some pink ACNH leaf logos just so that it has another aspect to the cup. I am also using a Bristol paper aka hard strong paper so I will be showing you guys my I guess difficulties on using it. I was able to score it with some with an exacto knife and scoring it into place. I did trim some because my cutting is not perfect for circles. And this is where I accidentally cut off some excess pieces. This is where the latte art wasn't able to actually completely fit. And this is where I'm just gluing everything into place or at least all of the parts. I am by no means showing you guys a complete full tutorial just because this is Junie's creation with the pop-up coffee cup. I also put the complimentary pink logo onto the saucer plate. And this is where I noticed that the glue was not strong enough for this really hard Bristol paper. So it made me use a different type of glue which was hot glue. So that was kind of a little bit nerve wracking. I was able to use it but really really quickly before it dried out on me. If you are to make a pop-up bullet journal spreads, I do advise to use lighter and thinner paper just so that it lays flat and it's able to fold up flat. I'm super happy with how it turned out even though it is quite a tad skinnier than I imagined. Since my mug is occupied with tea, I'll be using this convenient wine glass to really recreate those coffee rim marks or splashes and using a glass really helps just so that I knew where they were sitting on and I did do some touches here and there for the rims. I went ahead and used my stamps that I've got 
just so that it could spell out October into the far left corner for the October cover page. Onto the calendar monthly spread. Here I wanted to really incorporate Brewster's shelving behind him. And right now I'm just inking all of the decorations, aka Halloween decorations. On the left is Jack from obviously Animal Crossing with his head as a planter. I have a cute little bat planter holder as well as ghost, some coffee beans, and books. Here is a flashback to when pumpkins were introduced in ac and and I went pretty ham on those. And now I'm just painting the shelving units a light brown. I did mix my white acrylic paint with my brown watercolor just to create this illusion that it's kind of like a gauche pigment even though it's definitely not gauche or gauche or however you say it This layout is actually inspired by a fellow bullet journal Instagrammer. I will leave her Instagram links on the screen. I loved how this monthly spread looks, especially since it's pretty clean, but it does still incorporate to that cafe coffee kind of look, even though I am using a matcha themed. And then I'm using a white jelly pen just to mark off all of the numbers throughout the whole month of October. I wish I did have some different types of washi tapes, but unfortunately I only have the basics and nothing that really complements this month's theme. And then I went ahead and painted the left, I guess, board to mimic a wood type of pattern. Not sure what I want to put on this, maybe some goals or notes or trackers. And then I also utilized my stamps again, just to spell out OCT for October. And then I forgot to put some text onto this banner, but it should have been saying something matcha related or coffee related. So that is my monthly spread. Here is my tracker spread with my habits, my moods, and my mindset tracker. So I always do a mindset tracker with tracking my sleep productivity levels, as well as how many minutes I meditated. I love this version of a mood tracker with Brewster having all of the cups right onto his bar countertop. And then I utilized some craft envelope paper just to create the Animal Crossing speech bubble. And then I also cut up some really tiny coffee slash teacups onto the speech bubble just to create a mood tracker legend. Here I'll be coloring the moods into different types of flavors. Green would be the best mood and then black would be the worst mood. But I will be coloring the teacups itself rather than the teas inside. And then I just kind of colored in the whiteboards. And I did want to include this because the new update is coming up in the month of November. 
But now it's time to color in Brewster. He is a emeraldy green kind of shade with an ombre effect on his feathers of his hands, I guess, or arms. And here I did mess up on his pigeon glasses just because I added a little bit too much water. So I just cut up some white paper from my hole puncher and then applied some blue paint on top. Of course, I wanted to add some faces onto the coffee slash teacups and then making the my mindset tracker into Animal Crossing leaves. Last but not least is adding the dates for the mindset tracker. So this will be my habits on top, the moods on the middle, and then my mindset tracker on the bottom. The next spread is my weekly slash quarter weekly spread only because I only have a few pages left. I will try to incorporate both November and December on this bullet journal just because I want to finally start a new bullet journal. But here is my final flip through for the month of October. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I'm in love with how my October theme turned out. I will definitely try to implement a lot more of the pop-up trend for the bullet journal community and I'm super excited for the Animal Crossing update in the upcoming month of November. Now on to the items that will be included in the giveaway and the first one is going to be Notebook Therapy's bullet journal. The Suki Constellation Limited Edition one, but this is the original size instead of the traditional A5 bullet journal size. But you'll be getting this one as well as two of my favorite Muji pens that I use on the daily for literally everything. But this is the Muji gel, gel pens in 0.38 and 0.5 size. I'll also be including a box of Sipsby teas. It's going to include 16 different types of teas that I chose out and hopefully you guys enjoy as well. The giveaway rules will be located on the screen as well as the description box down below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, and see you next video. Bye!